Hi, I'm Dr. Bernie Rubin from Henry Ford Hospital. I'm reporting live from uh, RWCS 2017, and with me is... <coughs> Hi, my name is uh, Sam Manikam. Uh, I'm uh, coming from the Medical College of uh, Georgia in Augusta, uh, Augusta, Georgia, and I've, I have here a case, a pretty interesting case that uh, we saw in our adult hospital. And Sam, you're a rheumatology fellow. Are you first year fellow? Yes, I'm a second year fellow. I'm a second year fellow. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, I've read through this case, Sam, and it's very interesting. And so I have heard about Castleman's disease in the past. This is a variant. How common or rare is this condition? Uh, yes, that's correct, Dr. Rubin. Uh, this is a variant of Castleman disease, also known as Castleman Kojima uh, syndrome. Uh, this is a pretty rare syndrome. We did a PubMed search. Uh, we only found uh, about a dozen or so cases that were reported in Japan. Uh, only two cases reported in North America. Um, so uh, the idea of, of uh, making the diagnosis in this case was actually initially made after uh, doing our initial PubMed search when we found out how rare it was. Well. Now you're going to be one of the experts, and we'll be contacting you. Oh, okay. So how do we make this diagnosis? Was it a tissue diagnosis that required? Uh, yes, you need tissue to uh, make the diagnosis. Uh, uh, you, you'll need a bone marrow biopsy, which uh, we have here. This shows uh, reticulin fibrosis, and uh, you'll also have uh, requiring lymph node showing the typical features of Castleman's disease, which include uh, atrophic germinal centers and enlargement of the mantle, uh, mantle zone in the lymph node. Uh, so those are the two tissue samples you need to make the diagnosis. The other uh, uh, features for the for making the diagnosis are actually uh, uh, thrombosis cytopenia, anasarcosides, uh, microcytic anemia, myelofibrosis, renal dysfunction, and organomegaly. Uh, so the uh, ascites, anasarca, and the organomegaly can be detected by imaging, such as CT imaging, which we had in this patient, uh, and the myelofibrosis is uh, detected on the bone marrow biopsy. And I noticed, uh, this is very interesting, uh, your treatment. So could you tell a little bit uh, more about that? Yes. Uh, so siltuximab so is an uh, uh, antibody against IL-6, and uh, it's been used by the uh, oncology community for treatment of Castleman's disease in the past. It was actually FDA approved back in 2014 for the treatment of multicentric Castleman's disease. And so our patient was actually treated with siltuximab uh, outpatient infusions, and she's doing very well right now. Uh, her counts, her kidney function has improved, her anisarca is resolved, and, and she's doing very well right now. Wonderful. Thank you very much for this great case presentation. Good. Thank you.